little bit of backstory to this. So four years ago when the Patriots beat the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl, I remember the next day we were at Dave & Buster's. I was losing every game, frustrated, but I did manage to steal one of these footballs out of the football machine. So Dave & Buster's, if you're watching this, I owe you a football, but I doubt you'll care. Anyways, the next day I'm on my way to the parade and I'm thinking, what if I can throw this football to Tom Brady, he catches it, he signs it, throws it back to me, it would be epic. But these players don't walk around with Sharpies in their pockets. So I came with the great idea to tape a Sharpie to this ball. So we're at the parade, I'm ready to go. Here comes Tom Brady's float. Uh, he has his kid sitting in front of him. I don't want to hit a kid in the face with a football. So scrap the plan, a couple more duck boats come by and here comes Rob Gronkowski. He's hanging out on the side of the duck boat. He's chugging beers. He's trying to high five fans. He's like right there. But he has a beer in his hand. I'm like, ah, I just, screw it. I just throw it into the duck bowl. I hit it in the moving window. This girl sees it. She gets the ball. She sees the Sharpie. She goes, Rob, Rob, the kid wants you to sign it. He signs it real quick, gives it back to the girl. The girl finds me, eye contact. It's still moving, throws it back to me. I catch it, boom. Rob Gronkowski signed football. Two years later, the New England Patriots beat the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl and we're back at the parade. This time, I came prepared. I had a Patriots logo football. I had another football with no logos on it. I had a few hats, my jersey. I was ready. And I remember I had non-logo football and I gave the Patriots one to my boy Justin and I told him not to throw it unless he was 100% sure because it's actually a really nice football and I love it. So here we are back at the parade. And of course, there's Gronk chugging a beer. I'm waiting for my opportunity. And here we go. Ah! too high but he catches a spear no problem and then wait for it you see my ball get thrown back into the crowd there's no way I can get that back and then here comes Devin McCourty bottom left Justin throws the ball he catches it and then luckily there's a bit of traffic and this duck boat completely stops or else we have never gotten this ball back here we are he signs it throws it back and goes straight into Justin's hands the crowd goes wild celebrate confetti shoots into the air Devin McCourty and then the very next day I'm at the social plaza and uh, Malcolm Butler is also signing signatures so he's on here too so fast forward to this year this year I actually didn't have time to get many footballs. I only had this one that was sitting in my car. And I have a bunch of these hats though. I love these 50 year anniversary of the Super Bowl. They come in like a gold edition. I have like every single make. And we're back there again. I throw my hat. I try to get James White, but wind carries my hat and it gets stuck on the duck boat. No one even sees it. Don't worry, I have the exact same version of the hat. So nothing lost there. Justin, however, good, yo. <laughs> Got you. You good. Watch number 35, Keon Crossan on the right of your screen. He gets number 27, JC Jackson. They both sign it. And then he throws it back. Goes a little too far. Bounces towards us, actually. Here's Justin's hand. Grabs it. This white dude rips it out of Justin's hands. I'm swimming through the crowd. I'm like, that's our ball. We came here with that. Let us get that back. There you go, JC Jackson, Keon Crossan. That's three parades in a row that we've gotten Patriots signed footballs. And I can see the Patriots winning again next year. And then here's some extra footage from the parade. This is the Boston Police doing a field goal kick. We got here pretty early at about 10 a.m. and we we're three deep. Look how packed it got by 12 o'clock. And here's number 92. This is Frank Heron. He's on a practice squad. He catches a McGillicuddy shot, puts it in his mouth, catches a beer, and then chugs it but forgets he had the McGillicuddy shot in his mouth and pours it all over himself. I think that's hilarious. And then, of course, the Patriots cheerleaders, you're welcome. Hey, can you subscribe to my channel?